All right, welcome back, everybody. Bring you guys another Starfield video here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build your own outpost base. So um, you know this this universe is pretty huge. So there's so many planets you can like literally get lost in this universe. And I've got lost numerous times, and I was having trouble finding what different materials I have, like what I need, and aluminum, and a lot of specific things that you need, and you don't know where it's at. And it's really hard to find the specific items and resources that you need to build some structures to your outpost. So I'm going to do actually a full run of me building a outpost so I can give you guys a full live walkthrough. So uh, I'm going to pick an area on a map or a planet. What's this guy doing over here? So um, if you like, if you're already beat the game or you just want to like make a base, you can like, you know, store some stuff and make your own home base like that. And um, basically you just find an open area that on a planet that you want to set this on. I'm going to take out these enemies out real quick because they're roaming around my area and I want them over here. If you guys don't know what get out here what are you guys doing over here so what i'm gonna do is um this is a uh, xbox series s stuck on pc i don't know what, what controls this is but if you pull out your little um scanner thing here like tells you where to go and stuff like that and it tells you um once you press x you can uh, set this beacon down which is gonna allow you to start building your outpost which is really cool and up right you can see all the stuff you can build it's pretty freaking awesome honestly and this is like some like next level stuff right here so so if i wanted to build for example if i wanted to build a so i wanted to build a hydroponic hab a i think that's what it's called but yeah we want to build this so what we can do is we can track it which you, as you can see here on the left side here science have small we have aluminum we have aluminum which is 20 out of six but we need to sealant and we have lead so we just need that sealant so i have it tracked already so we can go ahead and rename this we don't lose our base here i'm gonna press x to rename it i'm just gonna call it buzzers outpost 2.0 so we don't lose it so we're gonna, I'm gonna press the little menu here. I'm gonna go to the star map. And once we select one of these planets here, these are the ones with the glowing on it. That's where you can like zoom in on it and see the planets around it. And usually you'll see the resources on the planet that you actually need. If you pinned it, it will actually pop up on the left here. As you see here, it says resources and it tells you everything all the resources are at. So I'm gonna go here. And if you scan it, it tells you where the resources are. This is honestly like the coolest thing ever. Uh, if you match the colors with the resources, it literally tells you where, like, where the specific resources are and located on this planet, which is honestly the, the coolest thing on here. So it looks really cool. I like it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just land on this planet. So here we go. We are on a planet. Bring out our scanner here. We'll have like a little pinned icon saying that that's that's literally what that's what you're looking for so i'm gonna take out these guys i think it's huge holy crap are you it's huge holy crap so here we go so we killed these animals over here and the, the, the little thing with the mind vine glass that is uh, the pen thing would not be needed so we're gonna pick that up really awesome here and if you're looking um if you have a lot of a lot of inventory space you can actually you know pull out your little better here and you know just take some get some little extra materials that you're also looking for and you can just you know scavenge that real quick and yeah basically you can you know if you get once you get enough stuff you need you can just explore get some other resources get some lead aluminum whatever copper go ahead and grab the other stuff while you're here you might as well also we got a skill point here you can actually go to your your combat and actually make this stuff so much easier because like you can detect uncommon organic resources on planets and moose services and more information about ships in space so that's what really the scanning does it's more easier to find resources awesome what is that you good dude Click on that. Find it here. There we go. It's Buzzer Outpost 2.0. Click A, then we're going to land on the map. So if you see these two logos next to each other, that's 
that's why I said make sure to rename your outpost so you don't lose it. Is if you make multiple out outposts on different planets, you can just you know locate them, and you can also make outposts for different resources you're looking for on whatever planet that has those most resources at. Like, awesome. So here we are. We are at our little beacon here, whatever. So I'm gonna bring up my outpost. So here we go. So we have our... What is this thing? I wonder what that looks like. You can press the triggers to rotate it. You can toggle the view from like the top and select that. So, uh, okay, let's just, let's just build one of these since we just did it for the video here. Okay, uh, let's just build this thing. Permit. Holy crap, I'm inside of it. <laughs> that was weird. No, we cancel it. This is so awkward. Okay, hold B. There we go, I'm out of it. Probably gonna need to build a door to get in this. But we need the air. We need to outpost airlock. Build that. There we go. Hold B to get rid of that. Pick up here. Open the door. Look at this, guys. We have a little, a little room in here, you know? You can have some privacy. There's no windows. This looks freaking amazing, to be honest. And if you guys want to do some decorations, we can um, go to furniture here and you can put, you know, stools down, coffee table, a desk, cabinets, table, maybe on a bed to sleep in to buy best time, a chair, or if you got any um, customers that want to come in, customers or any visits, visitors. So, storage crate. I'm actually going to put, why are these storage crates so small? I'm going to put one there. Warning employees only behind the a little sign there. We can do a dartboard or we can do a rug. That's a small rug. A little mannequin there. You know. What is this? Scanner booster. I kind of want to go out and see what that is. All right, let's go back outside here. Let's open this airlock. This reminds me of a little bit of Subnautica. It's like a underwater sea survival game, which it's literally kind of like this game, but it's like underwater. You build your own base, you know, collect materials, explore the, the universe. And Subnautica and Starfield have similar, you know, survival experiences. Build this to double the range of your hand scanner. I actually might do that. Oh my God. It does actually work. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a good, nice little area to set this lead extractor. So you can do this on, so I'm gonna put the lead extractor right here. So it's a really good spot for it. So I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna go with a solar array. I'm gonna put this right here. Now I'm gonna switch over to the wind turbine since it's a little windy on this plane. And once it turns to daytime, we'll get that solar and wind turbine activated. So we'll alternate through both of these. So we'll get through power through both. So it's a plus situation, which is really good. So um, you don't have to copy my layout, but you guys can do what you, what, what you guys want to do with yours. So uh, this is pretty much what I did with mine. So it's really, really neat. And um, I, didn't th I didn't think this was actually gonna work, but it did. So um, what it did is I took these stored salad and I stacked three of them together. Whatever you want to make yours look like, go ahead. I'm not gonna force you guys to copy my layout. Like I said, just do it side by side or you can stack it. It's literally up to you. So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this extractor lid and we're gonna hold A on it and we're gonna we're going to link it to our storage so the lead transfers to our storage while we're playing. It's very slow, but over time it will stack up while you're playing. This makes it easier to get lead or whatever resources you're going for. Make sure to link the lead extractor to the Pacific storage. So if you don't link all three of them, it's pretty much not going to go to that Pacific storage and it's going to overflow the first one and then it's just, you know, you're not going to get any more lead because you didn't link all three of your storages or, or how many storages that you have. It makes it more easier other than going to a Pacific planet and trying to farm that Pacific resources, which you can just rename this outpost and just go to the outpost, collect the resources that you need and then you're done. So I decided to wait in game to see how much lead I can print out here. And I came back and I have 86 lead in my storage, which is actually pretty awesome for this. So yeah, this is our outpost so far. It looks pretty neat. We have the hand scanner there. We have a little outpost beacon. We renamed that to its buzzers outpost 2.0. We have a little outside here with the inside of storages and another computer in there and we have a turret to, to defend our base and we also have a wind turbine to power up our lead uh, extractor to our storage so we can stack this just in case we need lead in a new feature and when it's sunny outside like the sun is starting to come in now it's going to power this thing up and it's going to, you know, give it more power, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna add more to my base here so we can guys get a, get a further review on this even further. 
So I'm going to go back to my build view. So I'll see about putting a Hydro Tonic, right? Probably hope they can put this right here. I can't put that right there. Nice. Okay. So I need to get out of that. Delay on that because on that 30 FPS. We can access this from the inside here. I'm pretty sure we can put another door right here. This is actually really cool, guys. It's actually coming along very good. So um, I've been doing some little side work in here. I got a research lab here. You can get like a lot of stuff here. Um, research lab, basically I can um, do available projects. I can do available project with food and drinks, outpost development, equipment and weaponry to upgrade my weapons and armor like that which is pretty cool and then I have a lot of storage crates in here to stack up ready for me to build some stuff on my base which just looks freaking amazing sam what are you doing in here so i want to go into build mode here and i'm actually going to put another airlock on the other side of our base here so we have two ways of getting into our server base which is actually pretty good i'm actually going to put a industrial workbench here i was crafting a basic manufactured opponents Go ahead and put this in the corner right here. Use the triggers to even it out. There we go. Have this here. So we can craft out some things that we can do in the future. Also, a pro tip here. If you want to get materials faster, um, I don't know how long these supplies last in this area, but um, if you go to the star map, I'm going to go back and show you guys how to do this. So go to alpha right here. Click on it. Then go to this planet right here, Jemison. Then click this. Then go to New Atlantis. Once you get to Atlantis, I'm going to speed run the clip on the screen here to show you guys where to go. You're going to go to this chick with a blue shirt and she's going to have all the goodies. One thing I just figured out here, if you go to the build mode and go to the storage over here, you can actually create a output link. Press A on that, and I think it links these two. So yeah, there it is. It links these, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, that's just heads up there. My bad, I did not know about that, but I learned as building this outpost so that's really interesting thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys want to see more star videos like this in the near future let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tips and tricks go ahead and comment below and like and subscribe hit the bell notification to never miss a video hope to see you guys in my next video peace out